week it's been. <laughs> Tell me about it. UKIP got their first MP in the Clacton by-election. <laughs> Clacton residents had said they were worried about the number of outsiders coming to their town. It's a <laughs> holiday resort, what do you expect? <laughs> It's like the manager of Greg's voting to get rid of fat people. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that Clacton Pier. Have you seen that Clacton Pier? Oh, my God. It looks like he's had better days, doesn't it? <laughs> In fact, as far as piers go, I'd rather go up Piers Morgan. Honestly. <laughs> I would. That's how bad it was. He made me sit on a dirty doormat to go down his outer skelter, dirty <laughs> Of course, that Nigel Farage was down there. Oh, what do you think of him? It's his face, and it? It's reptilian, isn't it? <laughs> I half expect his tongue to come out like that lizard on I'm a Celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't leave a bowl of nuts round on the bar, would you, with Nigel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, more intimate celebrity pictures have been leaked onto the internet. Jennifer Lawrence saying that people who look at them should be prosecuted. What do you think? A political hot potato in this room. Yeah. <laughs> <Shouldn't be> <laughs> <Alan>. <laughs> it's poor old Jennifer. She seems to have been act the most, isn't it? Poor love. It's getting to the point. She might as well go with the flow, make some money from it. Honestly, put advertising hoardings around her. <laughs> she should. <laughs> Just go with it. <laughs> I once saw an intimate picture of Jennifer's boyfriend, Chris Martin. Turned out it really is all yellow. It <laughs> I'm not worried about intimate pictures of me being hacked. Oh, no. Luckily, I'm quite hairy and have bad psoriasis, so... <laughs> the only <laughs> pictures of me just look like I'm wearing a leopard print onesie. <laughs> but you just don't know whose <laughs> pics are going to be released next, do you? No. Oh. And I thought Mary Berry seemed very distracted during the Bake Off final. <laughs> I mean, that's one upside-down cake I don't want to see. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> what a line-up we have for you tonight. I'll be chatting to the huge star of some of Britain's hugest films with the most humongous hair in Hollywood history. Yes, the one, the only. Hugh Grant will be here! <laughs> He's the only goth who can get a laugh without getting his leather trench coat caught in the car door. That's right, luxury comedy star Noel Fielding's in the house! <laughs> I'll be joined by the Broadway star turned R&B sensation who's so big right now, she even gave Nicki Minaj's bum cheeks a run for their money. <laughs> bang, bang. Yes, the incredible Ariana Grande! <laughs> But first, put your hands together for two of the stars who'll be standing at the country. It's Davina McCall and Dr. Christian Jesse! Here having a nice yes. quiet drink. So yeah. you're down the pub. Yeah. Dr. Christian, would you get people coming up to you saying, oh God, what do you think of this? Oh. <laughs> yes, all the time. It is now, I won't say the bane of my life, that's a bit harsh, but it is now part of my life that I've learned to accept. A bit like an addiction, you know? Do it's they show you <laughs> odd things? Oh, they do. do oh, they, they do, yeah. And I've heard people have been texting you things downstairs, cos, <gasps> you know, my other half? Yeah. He had trouble. <laughs> Round. I, I can't believe I'm saying this on oh the telly. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it, well, Alan. I've got to, I've got to. And he well, said, he said uh, there's something... Do you want to see the picture? No, no, oh. no! <laughs> well, that's what happened. I went, oh, I said to her, I said, well, I don't know. He said, well, Dr Christian says it's this. I went, well, how did Dr Christian know? He said, I sent him a photo. <laughs> you can't send him is photos. True? It's true. It's absolutely true. Oh, my God, that's That is wrong, funny. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Since now we know that we can text, so I can start texting you. Bring it on. It's amazing. I mean, if I ever lost <laughs> yeah, my phone... If we're worried. Oh. 
Oh. Left it in the back of a cab. If I ever lost my phone, it would not be good, shall we say. So if when I do send you the picture, I should t not have my head in no the... No heads, okay. please. No heads, yeah, okay. yeah. The tattoos might give it away, but... <laughs> yeah, God, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, and you, but mind you, you've also had, she's had trouble, she mm. won't mind me saying, with her mimsy, mm -hmm. with her mimsy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what that is, I'm not. That com <laughs> yeah, I don't want to blind you with science. Know, mimsy. Know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that comic relief bike ride. Oh, my God. But it's recovered now. Yeah. It's, it's recovered. recovered. My mimsy's fine. Yeah. Because oh. otherwise you'd be sitting like this, right? Yeah, but wait, can I just tell <laughs> you like a story <laughs> about oh. mimsy in a similar vein? So after the bike ride, right, yeah. and it was seven days, so the accident with the mimsy happened day one. Right. Okay, so I had another six days in the saddle. Just to put us in the picture, what actually was going on down below? Um, blisters. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happened on day one. Yeah. Then they burst. <sighs> Then I had to keep getting on the bike, oh, yeah, and yeah. I I was crying when, every time I went to the bathroom. Because cycling, you know, road biking... There's a very good reason why I don't yeah. cycle. Why, why don't, you, don't cycle? you cycle? Well, because it leaves a lot of men... Uh, let's put it this way, I value the function of this chap too much, really, to... Uh, is, is, to that tr is that the yeah, truth? Yeah, a lot of... Don't write in and contradict me. I know you go at it like a horse and you cycle a bike, that's fine. But there are a lot of guys who ride regularly bicycles and aren't able to ride regularly, so to speak. You see that? Really? Mm. Because you think about you I'm think of have what, to stop Matthew immediately. Think of well, the damage it did to you, right? And yes, now think of stop it, honestly. what's down there. See, that's when I cycle, I put my testicles in the basket. <laughs> Looks like a more shriveled ET. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't wear a it does not wear a hoodie. Thank you. I'm stopping this interview now. <laughs> Go home. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know about you. I am bricking it. Oh, Dolly, I can't believe you're nervous. Oh, I'm so nervous. Us three are all hosting Stand Up to Cancer again. <laughs> We look at a style, we mean business. Look at my <laughs> trainers. No one told me. <laughs> no one told me it would be below the ankle. I just. I don't tell. I got the below the ankle memo, <laughs> as you can see. I know, and uh, so did you. Look. Uh, look how funny dog. <laughs> <laughs> Some people may not have heard of Stand Up to Cancer. Mm. Yes. Explain a little bit, just in case they missed it last time. Stand Up to Cancer is an extraordinary event where we are turning around and saying, right, cancer, we have had enough. And it's an idea to gather as much money as possible because the cure for all the different types of cancers is very, We're very close, within our grasp. It is so close. But the way we do it, we need a lot of money to do a lot of research, to put into clinical trials. Clinical trials are things that people with cancer take part of to find out, to tell us doctors what is the single best treatment that is going to work for you and your oh particular gosh, and they're cancer. they're discovering things all the time, aren't they? That and changes that's essentially what it's already about. now. It's, can we get as much money from you guys, from everyone, from us, to really make cancer, hopefully, a thing of the past? Which and would be amazing. And weren't they brilliant last time? The public. Extraordinary. Oh, I mean, my they God. Were was so it eight million? Yeah. Eight million so pounds. So oh, well done, you. Well done. So the last one we're on, it's amazing. So let me tell you what's going on. Darren Brown's oh, doing a special one off. so good with Martin on. Freeman. Mm. Yes. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. He was so good in Fargo. Remember last year? <gasps> oh, it was yes. Terrifying, terrifying. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. That's going to be so good. <laughs> Chatty Man's um, live. I'm doing a live one, so that'll be, yeah, that'll be really Do you interesting you remember Samuel to L. see. Jackson? He was so brilliant. Oh, I know. So brilliant. And then we've got bits from Bradley Cooper, Britney Spears, Andy Murray, Pharrell, Taylor Swift, Jamie Oliver. Crazy. Albert, celebrity Gogglebox. Yes. Celebrity oh, Gogglebox. Oh, my God. Celebrity Gogglebox. <laughs> I'm a bit upset. I'm a bit upset that we can't all do celebrity goggle box. Have you ever been on goggle box? Have they slagged you off or anything? My challenge was on. There were tears. They cried. That was, really? That was quite surprising. That's all right. Yeah. I'm mean, lucky for you. Do you yeah. know what I got? No. no. You know the two posh people that drink a lot? Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to swear now, so editors be warned. He went, Who's that guy? He looks like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? Do I? Um, I mean, anyway. Monkey. Very muscly monkey. <laughs> I haven't had a nut, shall I? Yeah. <laughs> Another peanut. Yeah, I, 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 I wish I'd brought that up now. It's a bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs>
We've got Nicole Shirt singer. She's <gasps> before, yeah. Oh, with the, with the choir. With the choir. Yeah. Oh my oh, God, that's going to be the choir. The children's year. cancer choir oh, is going to be extraordinary, oh, isn't it? Yep. Again. It's Made emotional. up of lots of children suffering with. And the hardest thing about doing it is not crying. Oh, and I know that sounds ridiculous. And everyone goes, but you're a doctor. You, this is what you do. You don't get emotional. But it's a very emotional night. It's isn't a it, really with all the emotional stories. night. And the point is that we've all mm. been affected by cancer mm. in yeah. some way. You know mm. someone, you have a friend, you have a relative, mm. everybody has. Mm. And you think of that person. But actually, I think that's a very powerful thing. That's why we're doing it. We're doing it for them. And if you think about it like that, you can't not get involved, can you? And I think that's why the British public was so behind it, because. You know, everybody's been touched by cancer You've in some somebody. way. Yeah. I've just lost somebody. You have, have you? a friend. Have yeah, you? yeah, A Sam, week ago, yeah. two weeks ago, I lost my best friend from school, my age. Oh, no. No. From bowel cancer. Oh, so I'm she sorry. was my age. Isn't that oh, awful? God. And that's why I'm doing it. Anyway, and anyway. also then... <laughs> anyway. No, it gets me... <laughs> Oh, no. I'm in bits again because I did, I did celebrity deal or no deal, and all the money went to cancer research. I am an emotional wreck. If you want to see me going, no, 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 about money, you know what deal or no deal's like? Because all the money goes to cancer research and stuff. I was like, you ain't got to take it anymore. <laughs> you know, the snot bubbles. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> And then the bank is going, hmm, do you want to uh, <laughs> go? They're like, oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> <We're> having a <laughs> breakdown. <laughs> so if you want to laugh, watch that, honestly. If you want to see me sobbing the art out. And the other nice thing that you like, particularly, and I think, you know, we all do, about um, Stand Up To Cancer is all of the money that you donate goes straight to cancer research. Yeah, yeah. Now, what's this? You've got a lab as well. I've got a lab. So this is fantastic. I'm so excited about this. So now we're going to talk a little bit of science, because last year it was quite science light, wasn't it? Which was fair yes. enough, but people don't understand cancer. People fear cancer. Cancer's not one disease. Cancer's many, many, many different diseases with many different causes. And I want people, I'm going to have the chance, which is a huge privilege, to explain what on earth cancer is, why does it happen, what can you do about it, what are clinical trials, how do we treat cancer, how does it work? We're going to have a little bit of fun with Sarah Milligan's fun bags. We've got oh, a bit of... Oh, you haven't fun with my fun bags. Have you offered your fun bags? Do you not want my fun bags? You offered those too easily, <laughs> no, I can I just say that? You? I was just thinking, like, hang on a minute, is there... No, but Sarah Millican's just got lovely fun. She's yeah, offered them first, yeah. I'm no, sorry. No, 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 it's fine, first. you can so have them. We've got Jack Whitehall's testicles. Yeah, to play I can't. Yeah. I can't even <laughs> them, it's not just them turning up. No, I think she's going to turn up. What's this? <laughs> 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 So, um, so that's that's what the lab's going to be. It's going to be looking at different types of cancers, what it is, how we treat it, how it happens. Yeah. Demystifying. Demystifying it. Stuff, and the it? other great thing is cancer myths. There are so mm. many cancer myths, and I don't want to give too many away, but things like, oh, I've heard if you leave your water in a plastic bottle in your car, it gives you cancer. Yes, I've, I've heard, heard that. that. I've, I've heard, heard that. that. Is that not true? I've heard if you keep your mobile phone in your bra, it gives you breast cancer. I've heard that as well. I've heard that as oh. well. What? So you want to know the answer? Yes. Watch Stand Up To Cancer oh. next week. Oh! <laughs> so me. Oh, yeah. Yes. Can dogs smell cancer? Oh, yeah. Can, Can dogs, dogs smell cancer? Oh, I no, know. stop it. Hugh Grant and Ariana Grande will be here soon. First, though, is the Boosh and Buzzcock star, Who's the Surreal Deal? Strap yourself in and get ready to take a luxury flight of fancy with the brilliant Noel Fielding! <laughs> You and Serge, you're doing a Christmas single. Well, we've written one. Yeah. We just wrote one, we wrote one for fun for ourselves, like as a little challenge. Yeah. We, uh, you know, it was raining. We didn't. Uh, we weren't allowed outside, so we thought, what can we do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's write a Christmas song. So we sort of wrote one, and yeah. then we played it to um, Idris Elba. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he loved it, and he said, "Can I rap on it?" Wow. I know, and we said, "No way." <laughs> Not for you, but he wouldn't leave. He kept banging on the windows. Oh, Idris, Idris came, is like that. He came down that. the chimney in the style of a Christmas song. And he said, um, <laughs> he said, so we said, yeah, rap on it, and it was really good. Yeah. So uh, it is quite good, but because um, Serge is on tour and I'm about to go on tour, we don't really have any time to release it and do a video and from, oh, you know. No. So we might wait till next Christmas. 
Unless we all we get... want it this year, don't we, audio? <laughs> well, frankly, it's not up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Unless a couple of you replace me and Serge on tour, <laughs> then we can come back. I mean, what kind of song uh, is it? It sounds a bit like, uh, what does it sound like? A bit like Slade. It's like a sort of 70s oh, one. I love those But it's got rapping ones. in it, it's got a little bit in it that sounds like the Smiths, and then there's a bit that sounds like the Beatles, so... Pretty much, we've ripped off everyone. Oh, good. Cheers. I'll do for that, love. Cheers. cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Shall we pretend we're... Oh, no. Oh. Mm. I wouldn't drink it, love. You're gonna get... You'll end up in a neck brace the amount of times you... <laughs> <laughs> she call it the pigeon. What are you on? <laughs> Ooh. You're going on tour again, like you said. Yeah. Now, what's it's this title? While. An evening with Noel Field? It sounds like you should be, like, doing a pipe <laughs> and going, then I turn 12. <laughs> what's this evening with <laughs> Like Bing Crosby. Yeah. I don't, well, what had happened is I hadn't really written it and I didn't know what it was going to be, so I thought it better be something vague. And yes. then I sort of thought, why don't I just do something a bit ironic and a bit like an old-fashioned show, like something Barry Humphreys would do. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, an evening with Noel Fielding sounds ludicrous. Yeah. And so I sort of suggested that, and the next thing I knew, it was out there. That had happened. Yeah. And it's about you being scared of 40, turning 40. No, no, not <laughs> being, no, not is, being yeah. scared about being 40, but just the whole... You coming to, to, coming to terms with it, yeah. yeah. Like, there's what, you know, um, sort of one of the things I had noticed happened to me when I turned 40 is I started walking with my hands behind my back, like Prince Charles, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what the <laughs> that? <laughs> when did that happen? The last time I was in that position, I was 15. <laughs> Now, now I'm like that. Yes, the architecture is marvellous. <laughs> that just happens when you get to 40. Oh it's unbelievable. They don't God. warn you. No. I don't think you're yet. I don't think you're there yet, no, are you? No, I'm um, 38. Yeah, I can imagine me and you would have been in the same school. You'd have been a couple of years younger. Yeah, I might yeah. have bullied you a little bit. No <laughs> On no. the way to computer club. Or oh, stuck up for you when some of the older boys were bullying you. You would have stuck He's up. He's all right. Yeah. He's with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be any uh, characters from luxury comedy a on couple, your tour? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's a sort of stand up show, and then there's some uh, other characters. I'm taking my brother, <laughs> who, uh, who was Naboo in the bush, and I'm taking Tom Meaton, who's a comedian, who's on uh, Star Stories, and he's in luxury comedy. So, it's three of us. On a scale of one to ten, how rock and roll is your tour now? Because, you know, you're at Glastonbury there with Kasabian. That was so on rock and roll, it was hilarious. Me and Serge... Why weren't it rock and roll? You performed to 100,000 people. I know, but on the way to the gig and the tour bus, me and Serge sat, this is true and I'm ashamed to say, we listened to an audio book on the way there. <laughs> it's worse. Three men in a boat read by Hugh Laurie. We drank pepper. Yeah, we drank peppermint tea and we were under a duvet like that, going, this is amazing. That's how, that's how we entered Glastonbury. <laughs> you were <a> it? <laughs> My God. <laughs> but what was it like performing in front of... Was it, did it give you the horn? We, were you like, yeah, <laughs> you know, bring it on. Well, you know what? I had to come back and do a little bit in a film the next morning, so I couldn't drink. So I didn't drink all day, so I was just yeah. on the tea. So, by the time I got out there, I was completely sober and I wasn't expecting it to be as big as it was. And I had to dance, obviously. I was yeah. like a sort of medieval bez. I was just dancing. And usually I'm absolutely, you know, to be honest, I'm <laughs> So, I don't remember any of it, but I got out there and I was like a dad at a disco going, all, <laughs> self, all self conscious going. It's horrible. It's like C3PO, Vlad the Impaled. It's horrible. It was an amazing gig, though. I mean, I, well, you couldn't yeah. see the end of the audience. It was just unbelievable, like a big swirling mass of people. Yeah. I mean, my hair was moving. It was insane, just from the sort of impact of the know, sort of mitts. energy. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> I've trained some nits to dance. I'm going to go in again, even oh, though I no, know... Oh, no, don't, cos you'll put your neck out. <laughs> we'll have to get Dr Christian back on. Do the pigeon. <laughs> Good luck on the tour. Where you Thank going? You. You're going all over, aren't you? All over England, Brixton, Hammersmith. Yeah. There's still some tickets come if anyone wants yeah, to come. Yeah, an evening. We're now building. There'll be stand up. There'll be, I'll release the live hawk into the audience. <laughs> yeah, now building, everyone. Thank you. First, though, he's the legendary leading man who tickled me in four weddings, moved me in Love Actually, and touched me in Notting Hill. <laughs> I didn't mind one bit. Go, <laughs> go nuts, go wild for Hugh Grant! <laughs>
you, Hugh. They love you. They want a piece of you. <laughs> That's very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Your new film, The Rewrite, which I saw, I love it. Well, thank you. Good. Well, Do you know what? It's like, it's a rom-com, yeah, but it's like for adults. Do you know what I mean? It's like... But it's not a romantic comedy, really. They've billed it as a romantic comedy to yeah. try and sell tickets. But actually, it just... Oh. It has... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I understand. I'm sympathetic. It has uh, elements of romantic comedy, Cheers, but love. there's all kinds of other deeper things going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mud in your eye. Because mm. <laughs> what it is, it's about this... So delicious. <laughs> Look at that smile. I know. That's amazing. I could do the advert for Malibu and <laughs> yeah. mm. I, feel like <laughs> I feel like I've made dreams come true tonight. <laughs> I'd forgotten how nice that is. Thank you. I'm much happier now. You're quite picky about what films you pick, aren't you? Why did you go for this one, the rewrite? I thought I could be good. I thought it would add, even add a dimension to my work, because I, I have to do bits of sort of depth and emotion in this that I'm unaccustomed to in my films. No? No. Because well, yeah, it's interesting, it shows a difference, it shows a side, doesn't it, to the whole business, like you had your big hit there as a writer and then mm. you have to end up becoming a teacher, don't you? Yeah. Yes, yes. Poor man, he's a... He's a well, he was a very successful screenwriter, uh, won an Oscar 15 years ago and now can't get a job at all and he's desperate, has no money, and his agent says, well, there, you could do this job teaching screenwriting at this, yeah. frankly, <laughs> university in the middle oh, of yeah. nowhere, America. And uh, he goes and does that with a very, very bad attitude and just gets drunk and is rude to all the mm. professors and shags the students. And, um, <laughs> and then... And he, he, so he's not a primary school, he's like a college. Just <laughs> 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 no, just, you know... Just... No, but even so... I can, <laughs> I, 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 we're I... discussing, I'm not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does turn some people's stomachs if I even have <laughs> with a 20-year-old. Um, but anyway, then he gets nicer. He starts to realise he quite enjoys teaching these people. And so it's a sort of... Uh, it, it's a redemption story. It's heartwarming. Thank you. No, it is. Uh, it is. Yeah, it well, is. Uh, yep, I think that's the idea. <laughs> now, Marissa Tomei, who plays your love interest, did you have instant chemistry? Well, yeah, I mean, we're very different beasts. She's very method, and I'm very slapdash, really. Um, but we were, no, we liked each other. We liked each other. And you never know with chemistry anyway. No. Uh, you know, sometimes you think, oh, we get on so well, this must look great on camera. Yeah. And actually it just goes flat. And other times you frankly loathe each other and it sort of sparkles. Oh, not funny, because you think, didn't you? Yeah, well, sometimes hate comes over as love. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my God, how funny. Yes, it's... <laughs> Is. You wouldn't think it would be like that, would you? Because you're sitting I've, there I've eating your popcorn, films. watching it, and you think, I want to f smash your face in. <laughs> very much so. Yeah, very much oh. so. Yeah. Who's been your best? Who's, who have you had the most spark with? Who have you gone in the room and gone, bow, wow, wow, Well, it depends what you, in what sense you mean. I mean, there were ones I really got on with, like, uh, Sandra Bullock, I love, I love to this oh, day. Yeah, we like her, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> so, so Jessica Parker, all that. But, you know, I can't think of a leading lady I haven't fancied. I think I, you've got to fancy them. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's no fun. What's the point of doing the film? <laughs> <laughs> so you sort of use films as speed dating? Pretty much, yeah. It's, it's like nice. Tinder for me. <laughs> yeah. And also, you got off with uh, Julia Roberts in Notting Hill. I got off with her, yes. Yeah. That's, you should have heard that as a strap line for the film, yeah. <laughs> now, listen, I was worried, cos I'm not being funny, but she has got quite a large mouth. Was you worried about falling in? <laughs> it well, could I, happen, I... it could happen. <laughs> it's like pot holing, isn't it? <laughs> it's a big mouth. I mean, I... <laughs> I love her. But yeah. I was oh. aware of a faint echo when I was kissing her. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. And you, uh, you had a gay kiss in Maurice, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. Would you... Did you ever think, when you were kissing a man, oh, I could get used to this? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is... <laughs> he didn't say no. He didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't really have to kiss James Wilby properly because yeah. we were... 
uh, Edwardian and I was yeah. having platonic love course, with him. Yes. Yeah. No, the real f***ing went on between him and the gamekeeper later, <laughs> uh, if you remember. <laughs> yeah. We just did gumming. Sounds worse than getting off. <laughs> yeah, we gummed. I yeah. think we gummed. I can't remember. No, it was no. 1985. Mm. Well, because ever since I saw that film, I thought if anyone would play me in a film, it'd have to be you. <laughs> would you ever do it? Say the script was amazing. And it was like the Alan Carr story. Yeah. You see, I have my dignity to think of. Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. Oh, yeah, of course. Of but course there is I... a lot of full frontal nudity in the script, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of roles, love, mm. I've got a great role for you. You know George Clooney's doing that movie about phone hacking, yeah, which I um, can't wait to see. I was thinking that is a shoo-in for you, cos obviously you're involved in Hacked Off and everything. Would you... You could be in that, playing you. Would you want to play him? You? <laughs> I know, my head's exploding I, 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 just I... thinking about this. <laughs> I, it could be said that I've played myself once or twice before. Um, but, so, uh, yes, I suppose, I suppose I would, but I don't know, I feel a little bit uh, sort of proprietorial about of course, that, yeah. that whole hacking thing. I don't know. I feel like that's uh, the two separate parts of my life. I don't like to mix them up, you know. Oh, OK, OK. One, one sort of yeah. serious um, militant Mary me and the other showbiz <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> As well as the phone hacking, you were getting hassled by the paps uh, as well. How bad did it get? And where's the weirdest place you were papped? Well... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell no, me. I, uh, uh, you should be able to deal with it better than I dealt with it, but I never liked them round my house. It felt like that was my bubble, and uh, especially if there were girlfriends with their children around. I did once lose my temper. Twice lost my temper very badly, and twice got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> and not even, you know, in a very cool way, because, uh, of course, one time I, I attacked one, and his, his friend was lurking around the corner and got pictures, and it wasn't like I was, you know, doing really good, sort of manly punching. Yeah. It was a kind of... It was like the fight with Colin Firth <laughs> and Bridget Jones. Sort of pathetic <laughs> kicking. Yeah. And then... <clears throat> and then I, his friend came up to sort of try and protect him, and I was feeling very manly, and I said, ''You want some?'' Oh. And to my horror, he said, ''Yeah, I do.'' <laughs> and he put his camera down, and he was gigantic. So oh. I immediately chickened out and said, yeah. ''Well, let's all calm down here, you know.'' <laughs> and then uh, I went back into my house, where, as chance had it, some drunk person the night before had left a sort of uh, Tupperware <laughs> a packet of a, a baked potato and lots of baked beans on my doorstep. <laughs> So I just picked it up to throw it away, and then I thought, no, I, I, I use that as a weapon. And <laughs> threw it at these pats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, and you can't see it. There's, a, I mean, there's um, another picture later where the, you, actually the whole thing is covered in baked beans, the lens and everything. Anyway, yeah. I was quite rightly arrested and charged with assault with a dangerous weapon or something like that. <laughs> Well, do you know what, Hugh? It's been so lovely having you on, and uh, it's just been brilliant. Good luck with the film, the rewrite. Thank you very when, much. When's it out? Uh, today. 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 Oh, today. today. You've today. got to go yeah, and see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Yeah. I always like to order a grande. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So go nuts, go wild, and give a warm <laughs> chime and welcome, yes, to the incredibly hot right now, Ariana Grande! <laughs> Now, listen, when I said you were coming on my show, my Twitter exploded. I mean, how many followers have you got on Twitter? Because I'm not bragging, but I've got four million. That's amazing. I, it is amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> I have 20. No, just kidding. I have, <laughs> I have 19 point something. Well, the reason you're so huge on Twitter is your career has gone totally nuts, hasn't it? Um, a bit, like the past few months more so, especially yeah. with this new album and everything. But, oh, my God, But yeah. it's been really fun. I'm really glad. Yeah. I'm grateful. Uh, you, Jesse J, and Nicki Minaj had a number one over here with Bang Bang. 
How did you three get together? Who asked who? Tell me everything. Well, it's kind of crazy. You know, we're all sort of like under the same label umbrella. So um, it was kind of crazy how it happened. You know, we were working on the song, and uh, when we were writing it, we sort of like left the song for a little while and finished the rest of my album and sort of like forgot about it. And I hadn't heard it in a really long time. And then I went to um, my label's office to meet with. Um, Monty, the CEO, and just sort of like talk about the album and everything. And he was like, sit down, I want to play something. I have a surprise for you. And so he played me Bang Bang with Jesse and Nikki on it. And I was like on the floor. I knew nothing about it. I didn't know what to expect. And it was just sort of a surprise. And the whole thing was really crazy. And I've been such a fan of both of theirs for forever. So it was crazy, surreal for me. Bang Bang's on Jesse's album. Yes. Why is it not on your album, My Everything? Well, it's on the deluxe of my album, but it's the first single off her new album, Sweet yeah, Talk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's have Which a look I'm at your album. Which I'm very excited for. Oh. oh, look at that. I'm I love sleeping. it. It tends to happen. You were not asleep on that. On that stool. I was actually sleeping. You could like no, perform for Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> I, it's weird looking back at it now. I'm like, how did? I, how was I in that position? Like, that doesn't look comfortable at all. I'm wondering what I was doing. That You're like, was, oh, that all my clothes have fallen off. Sad face. <laughs> 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 now I had a proper listen to your album. I love it. I was expecting, and don't sound these patrons, but I was expecting like a kiddie album. Do you know what I mean? But it's really spunky. Spunk? It is. It's really got a groove going on. Oh, well, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate that. Now, is it true? Spunky. spunky. What does that even mean? <laughs> it means full of spunk and like. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good. I'm taking that as a good thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's spunky, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say it on other chat shows, maybe, that we're in the day. <laughs> I'm full of spunk. <laughs> Don't say that. Um, <laughs> another track off your album, Break Free. Very futuristic, very Barbarella, isn't it? Mm hmm Yeah, the video is sort of inspired by Barbarella and Star Wars and, like, all the sort of, like, retro space fantasy stuff, and it was a lot of fun, so... And I love that rocket launcher bra. Thank you, my rocket... <laughs> oh, I love you, too! <laughs> Thank you! Um... What am I, chop liver, love? <laughs> She's not even interested. I could be dead. She's not even interested. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, that's so, my mum. Uh, <laughs> um, now, is it true your mum thought you were going to turn out to be a serial killer? That is true. That is true. <laughs> How weird were you? You know, I was a little weird. I had a phase where I wore like a lot of Halloween masks and I would carry a ha like a hockey stick with me <laughs> around. Um, but that was just that was just a few years. But uh, I turned out fine. Just a few years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just a couple of days, a few years. <laughs> oh yeah, it was definitely weird. It was definitely a weird phase. Um, it went from like ages two to four, I guess. But I was fine. And then it switched to, like, Dorothy costumes and, like, healthier options. Oh, so you came back to the good side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is about you Americans, yeah, you know you brought over Trick or Treat or Halloween? Yeah. We used to have Halloween, and all you did was, like, stick a sheet over your head like a ghost <laughs> and go around your next door neighbour thing. Can I have some chocolate, please? Oh, <laughs> you, it's no, all changed in. over. Oh, my God. We you go, go hardcore. We go Halloween, yeah. yeah. My mum had to, like, repaint the walls of our house once because she smeared fake blood all over the walls oh. and wrote, OJ did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she thought you were the weirdo? And she... <laughs> Absolutely wonderful having Thank you on. Thank you for having me. Oh, anytime, babes. Ariana Grande, everybody! <laughs> yeah, lovely to see you. Take care. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm not used to the double kiss yet. <laughs>